What's going on, EV fam? Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Eternal View, where scripture meets the modern world. This channel exists to invite listeners to adopt a viewpoint inspired by Jesus on topics of today's society. If you like Christian content like this, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and leave a comment below. And let's keep this conversation going. What's going on, guys? Today's episode is about Good Morning America praising and glorifying an 11 year old boy doing drag on national television. And that is just not right in any way, shape, or form at all. And I'm pretty sure you guys agree with me. If you didn't, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. So let's dive into it. Let's take a look. And I'll give my insight and my opinion sometime in the middle and definitely on the back end of it. All right. So I was scrolling on X, formerly known as Twitter. And I came across this video on my feed of someone that had reposted the video that was about Good Morning America having a special on an 11 year old boy doing drag. Somebody please let me know in what way, shape or form this is OK in what world. But let me show you guys the post that I was talking about and that I had came across. All right, let's take a look. I'm sorry, guys, I don't mean to pause this this early, but look at all these people, especially look at this guy right here. If you can see my, yeah, right here. Applauding all these people. Like, come on, man, you guys are applauding on an 11-year-old boy walking down a, a, a runway or strutting down a runway and drag as if this is literally acceptable. I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. And what right mind do people think that this is okay? At least for an 11 year old boy, like if it's a grown man or an adult, you know, they, they're free to do whatever they want. Even if it's wrong, they're free to do it. But an 11 year old boy, come on, dude. And you guys are applauding this and praising this, making him feel like this is okay. This is clearly and obviously and utterly disgusting and wrong in every way, shape, and form. But let's continue the video, guys. How you doing? Thanks for being here. <laughs> I love that you love root beer caffeine free. Mm -hmm. I can get on board with that. My mom doesn't like me drinking caffeine. Does it make you hyper? Yeah, me too. They don't like when I drink caffeine either. But Jasmine, you're one of the youngest and first drag queen slash kids. Mm -hmm. And I those phrases don't even go together. Drag queen slash kids. This is the society that we live in today, guys. This is, oh my gosh. Let's continue the video. I heard that you've gotten messages from young adults. All right, so this is coming up on the end of the video of what I've seen on X. Let's go to the actual video that I have pulled up on YouTube. And if you haven't heard the name Desmond Napolis, get ready for this trailblazing 11-year-old drag kid who RuPaul is calling the future. His bravery is inspiring so many. We're going to talk to him in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at his amazing story. I am Desmond. I'm 11 years old. And I like pizza, trains, and drinking root beers and that's caffeine-free. I also do drag and I love to put on makeup, dresses, and wigs, and of course, jewelry if necessary. My full drag name is Desmond is Amazing. I feel very happy to have a mom that accepts me. So it really. Let's continue. Shame on you, mom. Shame on you. He touches me deeply that there are other children out there that he's reaching and they're listening to him and he's influencing them to be themselves. You hear that key words, influencing and reaching other kids, 
other kids to think that this is okay. To think this is a way and the way of life to be accepted in today's society and to be loved in today's world. No, man, not at all. I'm very proud of him. I'm proud that he's found his path so early. My greatest joy in this. Dads, for my fathers out there, would you be proud of your son? Would you be happy if your son was wanting to be drag and to and in doing this and into this type of stuff as a father? Would you be accepting of this? I'm not asking would you love your son because as a father myself, I would definitely love my son no matter what unconditionally. Would I accept it? Would I praise it? Would I glorify it? Absolutely not. 1000% not. Not acceptable. But I love you as a father, as you were as my son, but I don't accept what you want to do. I'm not going to okay it. I'm not going to support it. But my father's out there. Comment below how you feel about this if that was your son and you were a father in this position. What would you do? What would your thoughts be? What would you do? Let's continue. This is just seeing Desmond happy. I love doing drag because it makes me feel amazing and self-expressive. It just feels amazing to know that people love what I do. My one big message would be three words. Be yourself always. Please welcome Desmond Naples, a.k.a. Desmond is amazing. me very much and I wish I could have had the support that you have um, when I was a child. Yeah. And your parents, we saw your parents in the piece that we did. And your parents are so supportive of you, but they, they've also, they've encouraged you to stay and be who you are. So how has that inspired you to be open about dressing and drag? They support me by letting me do what I want to do and um, letting me um, dress up and let me play with um, makeup and trains and um, yeah, I really like trains. When I'm at a drag, most of the time I'm playing with trains. <laughs> Now, I don't mean this in a wrong or ignorant way. I don't mean this in an ignorant way, but it seems to me and this is just my personal opinion and speculation that this boy seemed kind of like there's already something wrong up top. Like the elevator don't go all the way to the top. I don't know for sure. I would have to do my research. And if you guys know more about this little boy, please drop a comment below and correct me if I'm wrong. But it just seems like there isn't every screw tightened, if you know what I mean. I could be wrong, but let me know. Well, let's continue. World out there, not everyone's accepting of things, and some people have criticized you. What do you say to them? Um, it's fine. Um. <laughs> Desmond here, so thank you, Desmond. But we also have some people that wanted to come see you personally. So please welcome. Before we finish this and get into that, for you guys that don't know that this guy right here, that is Michael Strahan, an ex and former uh, NFL player for the New York Giants. Now, I don't know if he is a Hall of Famer. He could be. I have to fact check that. But he was a really good player. I think he won a Super Bowl or two. Regardless, he was a pretty good player, but for him to be hosting a, a Good Morning America and to be accepting of this and promoting this, even if it's for a check, it's very odd and weird to me. Very strange as a grown man that you would be accepting of this and willing to collect a check, even if it goes against your core values and what you believe is right and wrong and what you accept and what you don't accept. To collect a check and promote this on national television not just to adults, but other kids that might be viewing this and being, quote unquote, inspired by this. I can't get down with that. I expect it better from Michael Strahan, but, you know, the Bible says don't put your faith in men because men will let you down every time. Man will let you down. But the only one who won't let you down is Jesus. He will never let you down, but man will always let you down. Let's continue. Head of lettuce! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Hold on one second. I gotta rewind that. Did that did she just call her? Whoa. Whoa. Run that back. Wait a minute. That's definitely a guy. I did not mean to call it or him a her. But did she call him head of lettuce? I mean, I can see why, if that's true, I can see, I guess that's green, it looks like. The hair, the hair is green. But still, head of lettuce, if that's the drag name, that's the best you could have came up with. Like, it couldn't have been a normal woman's name or female name. It has to be head of lettuce. That's a little obnoxious and extra to me. But, you know, that's just my opinion. But let me rewind that for you guys, because I could, I didn't quite catch that. It said, sounded like head of lettuce or head of lettuce. Or, I don't, I don't know, let me see. Please welcome Head of Lettuce. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. How are you? Well, thank you for having me. Oh, wow. All right, now Michael Strahan. Giving out kisses to you. Hello, Chanel. We can't forget Melissa Edwards. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? See you. And good morning to you. <laughs> How cool is this? America. <laughs> shocked. Happily shocked. <laughs> so, so, so for for you three, when you when you see Desmond, what what comes to mind? What do you think about? Inspirational. Yeah. Great inspiration. I wish because I started uh, doing drag at 15 years old. The men and women who fought for our rights as an American country, that's courageous. That's commendable. That's brave. <sighs> Let's continue. And obviously not 11, but I wish even at that age that I could have had the courage that you have to do what you do and literally yeah. take the art Woo! and put it in mainstream America. Wow. It's beautiful. You're it's amazing. Future. Yeah. You're the future of drag, so you have a lot to live up to. <laughs> and I think it's also awesome that you are blessed with parents that yeah. love and support you unconditionally. I agree with one part of that, that that child is blessed with parents who love him unconditionally. But the support part of what he's doing and what they're supporting, I don't agree with that. Not one bit. And I'm pretty sure all my viewers that are watching this and that view this you agree with me that this is wrong to support this. But like I said, I agree with one point that he is blessed to have parents because personally I lost my parents and it's a blessing to have parents that love you unconditionally, no matter what you do and not shun you or hate you. But the supporting part is something you, you know, it's just, I can't, I can't get down with. Let's continue. There are some yeah. special gifts you have for Desmond. Yeah. You guys want to tell us what's out here real quick? Well, I, I see. I, I drew Desmond a little green-haired lady. It, it's, <laughs> it's for you. It's to bring you good luck and prosperity in your future. And, and to eat iceberg lettuce. And to eat iceberg lettuce. Good roughage, okay? There you go. <laughs> Cucumber. Absolutely. <laughs> and I brought you a gift basket of some Look of my you favorite. Say? Actually, you know what? Let me actually hand it to you because I think you need to have it in your Desmond, hand. Look at those it is some of my favorite makeup essentials that I use always. And you know, you can never have enough black eyeliners. So my favorite black eyeliners in there. And I have a makeup tutorial DVD. So uh, you can watch it and pick up a couple of tips and techniques. Oh. Yeah. 
yarn bag. I can get on board with well, that. Well, Desmond, you know, I'm a teacher over there, Beyond Belief Dance Company, and um, we would love for you to come take some dance classes. Oh, so, no. I wanted to bring you quintessential I got a BBDC unicorn. It's got my favorite uh, rhinestone. You cannot be a queen without some diamond nails. <laughs> some socks it's got some pins it's got a little notepad note i want you to journal everything that you do because you truly are very brave and courageous oh. and let me give you this. Oh. 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 all right honestly this is all i can take of watching this this is how long seven minutes and 32 seconds too long of a video of watching something like this for me it really just grinds my gears and you know puts me in a bad headspace you know thinking about how accepting the world is and how televised and nationally televised this is and you know it's being pushed on us mm -mm. no i just can't do it can't do it so that's all for that but i do want to uh bring up something else for you guys right here specifically it says in genesis 1 27 god doesn't make mistakes God got it right the first time. It says right here in Genesis 1, 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Man and female. Male and female. He created them. You don't get any more specific than that. Male and female. Man and woman. Boy, girl. You can't get more specific than that. God did not make mistakes, and he got it right the first time. What these people were out here televising and pushing with the LGBTQ and live your life, live your best life, be who you are, and just accepting everything and being tolerant of everything, whether it's right or wrong, as a society, that's not going to get us anywhere. Other countries are probably looking at us like we are weak. We are low at the totem pole right now. It's just so perverted and inverted there's no real real men real women in the world that are being televised nowadays that are getting praised for being who they truly are if i wanted to be let's say i want to be iceberg lettuce today and y'all got to put me in the refrigerator to keep me cold i identify as iceberg lettuce head of lettuce <laughs> if i wanted to be head of lettuce and identify as iceberg lettuce for the day. And truly meant that because that's how I felt inside. I felt like lettuce. Y'all would throw me in an insane asylum. Like, that just sounds crazy. Just because you feel like a girl doesn't mean you can go be a girl. You're not a woman trapped in a man's body. It doesn't work like that. Like I said previously, God does not make mistakes. He got it right the first time. He created us in his image and he created them. Male and female i have another piece of scripture for you guys right here in first timothy first timothy 4 1 now the spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons i'll read that one more time now the spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Guys, we are in the latter times where good is perceived as evil and evil is perceived as good. We have people that are departing from the faith. And also, a lot of people are giving heed to deceiving spirits, allowing deceiving spirits and evil spirits to indoctrinate their minds. And those evil spirits are demons. In the Bible, it says, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness, and rulers in high places. So everything that we go through is spiritual. These deceiving spirits are indoctrinating our people and going after the simple-minded children, indoctrinating them, allowing evil spirits and demons to rule over their life, deceive them, and lead them into destruction. I want to show you guys another video that I came across on Instagram of girls and women actually speaking out on how they don't feel protected because boys and men are claiming to be women and our society is just okay with that. So let's take a look at this. Dear Nike. Dear Nike. Dear Nike. Why won't you stand up for me? Why won't you stand up for me? 
Why won't you? Why do you claim to support women and girls? Yet when we need you most, you remain silent. Today, males are claiming our identity. Our sports. Our spaces. Men and boys are stealing opportunities, medals, trophies, and our future. It is not fair or just. In fact, it's often dangerous. Yet you refuse to use your platform to stand up. You say you're for social justice and progress. So why do you allow men's rights to come before ours? See, with a big platform comes an even bigger responsibility. You have a chance to do the right thing, not just do the easy thing. So we're asking you, Nike. So we're asking you, Nike. So we're asking you, Nike. As the biggest voice in all of sports. Will you stand up for me? 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 Will you? Will you? Will you just do it? How do you guys feel about that? For my women out here, for my women that are actually tuned in, for my women that are watching, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about men and boys wanting to invade your space, your private space, the bathrooms, locker rooms, sports? There's nothing designated for men and women nowadays. Now, I agree with equality, but there's equality to a certain extent when it comes to restrooms, locker rooms. And men and women sports, you can't mix and match those. That's just completely unacceptable. For my women, leave a comment below and let me know how you feel about this and what you got from this video. And I also want to read you guys one more thing from scripture. In Romans 16, 18, it says, For those who are such do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by smooth words and flattering speech, deceive the hearts of the simple. This goes back to what I was saying earlier about these spirits deceiving the simple minded. The children of our society and the kids growing up, their brains are not even fully developed. People are making them feel accepted in that the things that are wrong are right by flattering speech and smooth words that deceive the hearts of the simple, the simple minded, the people who don't know any better that haven't even had the opportunity to grow up, have a fully developed mind, and to truly make their own decisions. we got to stop pandering to people and making people feel good by telling people that they're right when they're doing something wrong because you don't want backlash or you don't want to be looked at as unaccepting or hateful. We have to call out evil for evil and give praise for when we see and do good. We got to stop being acceptant and tolerant of the evil spirits that lurk this earth that are deceiving not only adults, because adults do get deceived as well, but also deceiving our children, our youth, people that are going to grow up and run the world. If we don't nip in the bud early, just like weeds in a garden, if you don't kill the weeds or I'm not saying kill anybody, but if you don't dead the problem and stop the indoctrination and teach right from wrong, if you don't kill those weeds that are sprouting up that's in the garden, those weeds are going to kill the good flowers in the garden or the good vegetables that are in the garden. God loves us all, and he wishes none of us would perish, but all would come to repentance. And repentance means to change. Repentance is a change of mind and a change of heart. When you know right from wrong and you say, man, I was living wrong, I was doing wrong, but I need to change. I don't want to do this anymore. And you ask God to change your heart and ask for forgiveness. And you try not to do that anymore. We need more repentance in the world. But that's all I got for you guys today. I'm trying not to make this too long of a video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And all my women out there, please let me know how you feel about, you know, men wanting to be girl, or girls or women, whatever they want to call themselves. How do y'all feel about it? That's all I got for you guys today. I thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and leave a comment below and keep this conversation going, guys. I thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope you guys have a blessed day, blessed evening. I love you guys, and I hope to see you on the next one. God bless.